special featuring Natalie. <laughs> Guys, we are getting ready to talk arts and culture with Hans, who's currently in Virginia, but really and truly getting ready for Miami Carnival. Hans, good morning. Yes, ma'am. Good morning, <laughs> Anka. Good morning, Natalie. Great to see Natalie back on set. I love it as always. No, <laughs> Natalie, Natalie, listen. <laughs> Natalie, I enjoy your home, but I love to see you in the studio. Absolutely. You guys, especially vibe you and Ruckus have sometimes. Yeah. And then back and out, <laughs> right? Now, earlier, morning, Natalie. Morning, earlier, morning. earlier, Tim Tim gave us a Marshall Montano accent. Oh, boy. But we caught up with one of Marshall Montano's oldest friends, <laughs> Farmer Nappy, who is getting ready for something big in Miami Carnival, guys. Yeah, let's check it out. Greatness can often be determined by what someone does in a difficult time. One artist that has continued to thrive during this pandemic is Farmer Nappy, winning both the virtual road march and the Soka Mona titles for 2021. With this in mind, we caught up with Farmer Nappy to find out about his upcoming plans, including the production of his very own show in Miami Carnival. <laughs> So, I would like to welcome you all to America. How has it been performing? It's nice. Um, all the cities, well, I came out here at the ending of April and I, I decided to name it to the Backyard Jam Tour. Right. And I have been going cities to cities. So, the cities where I go, you know, it, it has been getting a wonderful response. Backyard Jam Tours continue. We just finished DC last night, so we're heading to Rochester, New York. Remember, it's four days and four nights. Thursday night we start off at Houston, Texas. Friday night we was in North Carolina. Last night after Saturday night we're in DC, and tonight we're going to be in Rochester, New York. How is performing out here different than it was before? I was a little bummy with the mask wearing and, and coming up close. I think we still you had to social distance yes, yes, yes. because we're still in a pandemic. Yes. You know what I mean? But since party, you know, whatever, never. Hear that you know cases somebody from the party you know I don't know if it happened but yeah but it's only positive vibes so but it's just a smaller audience right you right, know what right. I mean and and, and that what I love okay the smaller is up close and personal with you intimacy yeah that way yeah, that I love with it. <laughs> Farmer as well. What, what about vaccination? Did you get your vaccine when it yeah, came yeah, up? Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, I didn't want to do it. Okay. But okay. Um, in terms of traveling to us out of America, yeah. You know, I mean, I had was to get it. So and, and I took Pfizer and um, I never get no after risk for sickness or whatever this and that. You know, what I mean, okay. so I was vaccinated and going good so far. Going good so far. <laughs> So Farmer Nappy yeah. is officially going to have his show with our band in Miami. Yeah. What's the date? The 3rd of October. Shoo. Sunday, the 3rd of October. Backyard edition, the grand finale, October 3rd inside Luxurious, 3500 Northwest, 15th Street, Lord of Hill. Right, right, right. Right, so I'm in America. I'm I don't have a return ticket to Trinidad right now. Oh wow. You know what I mean? So whatever God said to do, I follow with it. But right now I'm recording. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I have to do video, but I might be doing video up here in the winter. I mean that'll be that'll yeah. be beautiful for yeah. I I don't see nothing wrong. But I don't that. have a return ticket to Trinidad at the big right now. I don't know if the government will try to see what they can do. <laughs> Right 
Our people to know, love each other. Right. Just love. You understand? Right now it comes to an Indian lady told me that this pandemic come to something called bartering. In the old days where if you have some fig and this person have salt fish, you give them some salt fish, you give them some fig. Yeah. And bartering to me is love. Hi, this is Farman Happy saying hello to Trinidad and Tobago. I love you from my heart. Tune. Na 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 na. But your back on me clothes in a garbage bag. You put it on the ground by the roadside. You tell me get out your place to come inside. And boy, he loves us with all our hearts, but he really didn't buy the return ticket for you. <laughs> that's not my business and that's not my thing to talk about, Anka. <laughs> you I just did, said I, what he said. I asked in the question. What he said. Because we can see that people are thoroughly enjoying Nappy and a well-deserved tour. I mean, Backyard Jam was a runaway hit. And the pandemic changed how we would have celebrated that song. Because you know that would have been in every bar, every fete, every birthday party down here. But I'm happy to see that he's thoroughly enjoying his, the spoils of his labor, so to speak. But interestingly enough, I think if you really listen to Backyard Jam, Backyard Jam is sort of inspired by the pandemic. I don't know if people agree or disagree. Yeah, we absolutely know that. But I mean, let's not pretend if the pandemic didn't happen. The yeah, way we'd engage with that song would have been different. So he's, start, he's doing that abroad. And I mean, although he didn't buy that ticket, it's important <laughs> to know that he is vaccinated. He yeah. has a very immaculate hat collection. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he also has dual citizenship. So don't get caught up with that hype that he don't know when he's coming back. He could do that. The rest of them need to come home. Mm, I just wow, make it up on the clear. Wow, <laughs> No, no, no. Ah. The viewers out there might be looking and people might get the wrong impression. Don't mislead okay. them. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Natalie say hands need to come home too. You do have your citizenship right here to come home. Uh, it's my business. This is my business. It your is. Business. Your business right it's here. all about being very hands-on with the business. Huh? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so where are we off to next? Um, next, I actually feature Virginia Juve. And interestingly enough, the promoters of that event one is from Trinidad and the other is from Tobago. Mm. So it'll be a nice one for you all to look out for. We're going to definitely do exactly that. Talk to you soon. Until then, mask up, physically distance, wash your hands. <laughs> yes. Take care. Bye, hands. And that's how we wrap up your arts and culture. Although, Natalie, you have a message, hands? Yes. So if you want me to go, <laughs> you can be looking the way what? you do. Mom. You can be in the way you yeah, do. We can be hooking me. Favorite nappy. Okay. I you thought they were singing it for hands. I wasn't sure. You know nappy has had to me since I've been here every year. He's had a good song. He's the most consistent every artist. Every year. Most consistent. I will give him that. And I'm from telling the you, it's he ridiculous. Will continue to be consistent because he's abroad. He's recording and he's still representing Trinidad and Tobago for the cu culture and the arts. You yeah, there? and one of the favorite interviews I've done is with Nappy Myers in terms of entertainers. Nappy Myers or Nappy, Farmer Nappy? Farmer Nappy, sorry. <laughs> and I want to see you interviewing dead people. And no. on that note, we take a break <laughs> and come back with more too. guys. I do interview dead people. Sure. Everybody.